welcome back in this video i'm going to be going over the setup sheets how to create setup sheets and also how to edit setup sheets so i'm going to go through setup sheets in a lot of detail so first what is a setup sheet a setup sheet is usually created right after you're done finishing your program you create all your operation and it's basically a list of all the tools and feeds and speeds and the holders that you're using to machine your part so what you would do is print a list of that out give that to the operator so he knows how to set up the job correctly so he knows hey i need a half an inch flat end mill for example or a facing a tool and a different kind of holder for this one and he sets up the machine gets it all ready for you to create your job okay so let's go ahead and learn how to do that so first i have a part opened up for you with six operations on the left side over here so now i'm done and i want to create my setup sheet to give to my operator what you want to do is come over here under machine and you're gonna see a setup section over here, setup sheet button. Now there is a create, image capture, and clear image options. Those are the only three options that you have. For the image capture is really just capturing images onto your screen to add to your setup report. Clear image list is basically clearing any images that you've captured. Let's go ahead and select create and get started. So first for the under the setup sheet dialog box, there's general information section that you can fill out and all this information will set, show up on your setup sheet. For example, let's go ahead and start. For project, I'm gonna call this exercise one, tab. For customer, I'm gonna call this VT Pros. And all I'm doing is pressing tab in between each one to go to the next one. Programmer, I'm gonna type in my name. Drawing, I will call it exercise one, drawing. Revision, I'm gonna call it 2.0. And these are any notes that you want to leave the operator or whoever is setting up your machine. Now, let's go here under images. Under images, this is where you check if you want to show images of your part, also of your tools. And also if you want to show them in color. And you can clean that up if you want as well. You can also decide how you want to view the operations. Whether they're isometric view, or the operations world coordinate system, the tool plane, the world plane in isometric, or the graphic view that you have on there. Now real quick, there's X's over here on the right. That's what you would press if you wanna delete something. For example, I don't like exercise one, I can select delete and it will delete it for me. Go ahead and type it in again. Now I want to say one thing about the information here. After you run a report, all of these values will be saved underneath the down arrows. Right now, they're not saved. You can see that there's nothing underneath here. After I run it one time, I'm going to show you guys how they are saved and though you can use them in the future. Now let's go to the tool sorting down here. So this is basically how you sort your tools within the setup sheet, whether by default, ascending, descending, or none. And last but not least, the most powerful one is basically selecting the setup sheet. So go ahead and double click over here and you'll have this select template dialog box appear with a bunch of setup sheets. There's a generic one, one for lathe, mill, mill two, MT, router, one that I've created, which I will show you how to create one later, wire, and just the tool list. For our sake, we're gonna select the setup sheet mill, and then we're also gonna be seeing the mill two. So go ahead and select mill and select okay. You will see this uh, change to setup sheet mill. And again, if you wanna capture this image to show up onto your uh, setup sheet, you can select capture and you would simply select capture right here and it will image capture successfully and you would say okay you would want to type in the image name sometimes over here if you want to save it to a certain name and you would also want to check if you want it in color or not you can also open up and edit your pictures before posting and even create notations and lighting okay so go ahead and select okay i'm sorry this is a draft adding a draft and notes so basically dimensions and notes Go ahead and select OK, and let's go ahead and select OK to run our report. And you're gonna see this little graphic go through, initializing report viewer shows up on the top left, and there's your report. So I'm gonna go ahead and minimize it real quick and expand that onto your entire screen so you can see that much better. All right, so there is your MasterCam setup sheet. As you can see, it's just a default MasterCam, and it says setup sheet report on the right side says mill default this is our machine type that we've selected and all the general information that we've input in remember these are the information that we just input in to set up our part all right so this is the capture that i've just took of my part 
shows up as my main picture. And as you go down, you're going to see the comments here that you might have left if you've left any comments for the operator. This is going to be your stock that I've created. And it even tells you the dimensions of that stock as well. All right, so we're going to go down here. This is the first operation, and this is the operation list. It's going to tell you the cycle time for everything together is 48 minutes. And this is the first operation, the toolpath for it. It's a facing operation. It gives you the spindle speed, the feed rates, and all the information that the operator needs to be able to set it up. All right? Now, you don't really need this information for him to set it up. That should be all part of the program. But this is the most important part. He will need the tool list and tool information. For example, the first tool he'll need is a 2-inch face mill. So this is the tool he needs to find, and he will need to also find the holder and put those together and make sure that that is set up and ready for the first operation. And it also gives you all the information on the tool on the left side over here. Now you'll go down and it will show the second operation with the second tool, and you'll see it keeps going down until it finishes all the operations for you. All right, it shows you also an image of uh, number one. This is the image capture that you've taken, okay? So this up top is not the first image that you've actually captured. This is just the default uh, image that it takes of your part just as it is. And any extra images you capture will show up at the end. Remember, we did not name it anything. So by default, it is image number one. Let's go ahead and exit out real quick and go ahead and change that. Now, when we ran that report, that was 12 pages. Usually your report is one to maybe three pages maximum. You don't want it to be too much. You don't want to hand in a booklet to the operator for him to go through. So let's go ahead and set that up again. So go ahead and select create. This time, what I want to do is actually, he will ask you this every time you go in here. Custom images are defined from a previous session. Clear custom image list now. Let's go ahead and say no to keep that image there that we've created. And I'm going to go ahead and double click on my setup sheet and select mill two. The second setup sheet or mill two setup sheet has a lot less details. So it's only gonna be a few pages and I'll show you what I mean by that. And just like I've told you before, now if you go to the drop down, you will notice that there is exercise number one in the drop down for each one of these, you've saved it. So every time you input a different name, it saves that, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and then take another picture for example. I'm gonna go ahead and select image and this time call it VT Pro's image test. And what I'm gonna do is for example, zoom into this hole and capture that image. Image captured successful, select okay, and select okay over here. Select okay to run your report. Now again, that report is going to open up expanded, so I'm gonna have to minimize it for you. There you go. And there is your image that you've just taken a picture of, okay? So I'm gonna go all the way down now and you will see that these are the operations with the cycle time. And this is very important to go through after you're done because right away I can see that I have an issue over here. My facing operation is taking 35 minutes to machine a total of two passes. So that means I have something not set up correctly or maybe I just have the machining, the feed rate basically go is very, very slow. So I have to go back in and try to figure out what it's taking me so long. That should not be taking more than 30 seconds, but it's taking 35 minutes to machine. So these are very important to go through after you create this to try to figure out maybe you need to make some changes before you create this again. All right, let's go scroll down now. So those are all the operators, operations with a tool number, minimum Z, maximum Z, and the cycle time. Go ahead and scroll down. And now you will see a list of the tool list in sorting ascending. So tool number one, tool number two, tool number three. There you go, number one, two inch face mill, number two, half an inch end mill, and all the information for the tool list. And you notice now that it is three, only three pages, where before it was a total of 12 pages. So this is a quick overview of the setup sheet. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out, okay? And because we've actually selected that mill two instead of the mill one, is why we don't have the list of all the pictures that I've taken basically at the end of that. Because I basically told it, hey, I just wanna see the operations and the cycle time and also just a tool list real quick and all the information or the necessary information for the tool list. So what I'm gonna do in the next video, I'm gonna show you guys how to open up an existing setup sheet 
and how to edit that and save it and also use it as your own. A lot of people are not going to want to use the generic uh, MasterCam setup sheets and they want to use their own. So I'm going to show you in the next video how to do that.